good day. Our lecture for this afternoon would be sexually transmitted diseases. So we have a lot of myths surrounding sexually transmitted diseases. So in your mind, please answer if it's true or false. So most people with an STD experience painful symptoms. Birth control pills prevent the spread of STDs. Douching will cure STDs. Abstinence is the best way to prevent STDs. If you get an STD once and are treated, you can't get it again. A person does not need to see a doctor if she notices sores in his genitals once but then they go away. Condoms help prevent the spread of STDs. The only true here would be 4 and 7. The rest would be false. And you have to be choosy with our partners. So for example, how well do you know the 63 people you had sex with last night? You could never be so sure. Even if you know the person thoroughly. So what are STDs? These are diseases and infections which are capable of being spread from person to person through sexual intercourse, oral genital contact or in non-sexual ways, or through IV administration. What are the symptoms? How would I know if I have been infected? You could have sores, either painful or painless, urine in the blood, burning sensation when urinating, rashes, itching, bumps, warts, and unusual discharge. Most common would be, one of the most common would be chlamydia. 4 million new cases occur each year, symptoms of which are fever, weight loss, swollen glands, fatigue, diarrhea, and white spots on the mouth. For females, discharge, burning sensation while urinating, lower abdominal pain, bleeding between menstrual periods, low-grade fever. For males, discharge from the penis or burning sensation when urinating, burning and itching around the opening of the penis, pain and swelling of the testicles, low-grade fever. Gonorrhea, approximately 650,000 people in the United States get infected. And it is um, acquired through close sexual contact and can be spread from mother to child during birth. Gonorrhea can spread to other unlikely parts of the body. So this is an example of a lesion of gonorrhea. So it's usually a vesicle with raised borders that is erythematous. Symptoms. It appears 5 to 7 days or can take up to 30 days to appear. It is a sore red um, lesion if you have gonorrhea in the throat from oral sex, rectal pain, and blood and pus in bowel movements if you have gonorrhea in the rectum from anal sex. For the females, symptoms may show up to 2 to 21 days after having sex, may notice a yellow or white discharge from the vagina, may be a burning or pain when urinating, bleeding between periods, heavier and more painful periods, or cramps or pain in the lower abdomen, sometimes with nausea or fever. Male symptoms, yellow or white, discharge from the penis, burning or pain when urinating, and frequent urination with swollen testicles. 
Another STD would be syphilis. So the long-range effects can be very serious, including death. In the U.S. alone, 70,000 new cases of syphilis occur in adults and pass from person to person to direct contact with a syphilis store. Sores mainly occur on the external genitalia, vagina, anus, or rectum, and sores can also occur on the lips and on the mouth. Transmission of the organism occurs during vaginal and Symptoms for stage 1 usually appear 10 to 90 days after exposure. So an infected person gets a sore chamfer, which may be painful at the point of contact. The chamfer is usually firm, round, small, and painless. It appears at the spot where the bacterium entered the body. It lasts for 1 to 5 weeks and heals on its own. This will disappear on its own but may last 4 to 6 weeks. In the female, the chamfer is often internal and cannot clean. So this is the first stage of your syphilis. Secondary stage lasts 3 to 6 weeks. After the chamfer comes a copper-colored skin rash which may appear on the palms, hands, soles of the feet, or in more severe cases, covers the entire body. The rash may be accompanied by fever, headache, indigestion, loss of appetite, or loss of hair in spots over the scalp. So this is the an example of secondary stage rash of syphilis. In the third stage, so all symptoms disappear so that the victim thinks he or she is cured. If not received treatment, the bacterium remains in the body and begins to damage internal organs. In the fourth stage, the results of the internal damage shows up many years later. So sudden heart attack, failure of vision, loss of motor coordination, or mental Then we have herpes. Symptoms usually show 2 to 20 days after contact and may be extremely painful or very mild. Outbreaks of blisters and ulcers. Once infected with HSV, people remain infected for life. So stress, bruising, chaffing, or a woman's period may cause an onset of the disease. So for the females, blisters around the vagina, fever, and headaches and for males, it's small sore or cluster of blisters on the penis. So this is what her piece would look like. And we have your genital warts. They appear on the vagina or the penis near the anus and sometimes in the throat. They are caused by viruses and spread through sexual contact. Virus that causes genital warts is fed by vaginal or anal intercourse and by oral sex. They may appear within several weeks after sex with the person who has HPV, or they may take months or years to appear, or they may never appear. They can be infected and pass on the virus without knowing it, and approximately 5.5 million new cases of sexually transmitted HPV occur a year. Three out of four Americans between age 15 and 49 have been infected with genital HPV in their lifetime. Usually, the warts would look like cauliflowers, but sometimes they could be flat. It causes itching, burning, and some pain, but most don't cause any pain at all. They may be inside the vagina or on the cervix or in the rectum or throat, so you might not notice them. They might be so small that you cannot see them as well. Other parasitic infections would include crabs and are frequently the color and size of small freckles and these very small lice usually attack the sexual areas of the body found under the arms, eyelashes, and mustaches and spread through direct physical contact post body contact with an infected person. Symptoms would be terrible persisting itch in the genitals or rectal. Under the microscope, this would look like this. And trichomoniasis. 
So, 5 million cases occur each year in women and men. Occurs in the vagina of women, so may be sexually transmitted to men using infected washcloths and towels. And may be transmitted to the baby during delivery. It can also occur in the urethra in men and doesn't have symptoms usually. So usually it appears 5 to 28 days of exposure and women usually have a vaginal discharge. That may cause itching and burning at the outside of the opening of the vagina and vulva. Patient, painful and frequent urination, heavy and pleasant smelling greenish yellowish discharge. For males, it usually not, not uh, no symptoms. Inflamed hand of, of the pee. And you could also have candidiasis, these fungus that may or may not be transmitted by sexual intercourse, may be caused by high doses of antibiotics, usually through the altered pH of the vagina. Symptoms a thick, cheesy vaginal discharge accompanied by severe itching. Non-gonococcal urethritis, it's an inflammation or infection of the urethra that is not associated with disease. It is passed from third to first person to person during intimate contact. Female symptoms, pain, itching or burning, any discharge. Males, discharge from the penis, burning and itching. Or as we have your HIV, be achieved in different ways. So you see, they have the same symptomatology, but you know have to know when to identify because treatment of this would be different. Although prevention would be generally the same. Abstinence, know your partner, limit your partners. Visit your doctor once you feel anything, and you always be on the lookout. You wouldn't find it if you wouldn't know about it. And keep So remember, people who engage in premarital sex are nearly 54% more likely to divorce or have STDs, and 3 million teens contact an STD each year, some of which have no cure, and are a leading cause of cervical cancer or can even lead to infertility. So, prevention, do your HPV vaccination. This goes for boys and girls. So, remember to have your HPV vaccine and be faithful and abstain from sexual contact, especially if you do not know.